What's going What's on, going Frank? On? She's not smiling. I'm sorry, TJ. Go, go ahead. You got this. What's going on, Franklin? It's TJ. Thanks for tuning into this week's episode of the Saber Roar. And I'm Cheeto. Today we'll be highlighting boys soccer, cross country, and I want my MTV. Before we get into that, last Monday was Veterans Day, a day to honor people who have served in our armed forces. Each year, Franklin and Vision Academy honors local veterans by holding Veterans Day breakfast. Students show their gratitude by performing, serving food, and spending time sharing stories. If you know somebody who's a veteran, don't wait until next Veterans Day to thank them for their service. Here at FHS, we're known for our amazing sports and athletes that come with them. For the past couple of years, the Franklin soccer team has been doing better than ever before. This year, they made it all the way to regional finals. Here's a quick look at their season. The FHS boys soccer team has a fresh squad this year. The team recruited 11 new players after the loss of 14 seniors last year. On the team, there are 7 sophomores and 14 new seniors. The varsity soccer coach Logan says he wanted a stronger, longer-lasting team to play against tougher teams later on. Even with the new players, they still managed to play 8 of the top 10 teams in the state and managed to pull away with the 8th seed against Muskego in the playoffs but sadly lost to Racine Case in the regional finals. Franklin on three. One, two, three. Franklin! Amazing job, Sabres. Can't wait to see what you got next season. Hey, TJ, what do you know about cross country? Um, well, if I wanted to cross the country, since we're pretty much as far north as we go, I'd go down south somewhere like Texas, because I heard they got pretty good food there. TJ, that's, that's not what I meant. I meant the sport. Oh. Some people are confused by a person enjoying cross country, because it's just running long distances, which many people find really hard. Tanner's here to answer that question. The cross country season goes from mid-August to late October. The boys finish third at conference while the girls finish fifth. Practices are six days a week and weather can be anywhere from 30 to 90 degrees. In practice, runners can run up to 15 to 20 miles a week. The question is, why? I ask runners why they join cross country. I joined cross country because I thought it would be fun, but then I had to run. Uh, I did cross country because I just have a lot of friends in it and um, it was a great way to train for track. I joined cross country because I love answering the question, why do you run cross country? Because my friends were in it. Uh, Ryan Rakowski was in it. Because of the people that are in it, it's a good <laughs> sense of family and I love the girls on the team. My only goal is to run faster than him. I've been doing cross country for years. I've been running since second grade. Because I'm supposed to be good at it because I'm tall, but I'm not really, so. Yeah, it's basically one big family, and it's the most mentally challenging thing I've ever done, and I like putting myself through that over and over again, apparently. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, it's fun, even though you really feel like you collapse the lung every race. Okay, I ran cross country because of the people on the team and the friendships that I formed. Because I enjoy helping you guys get better. That's, that's a solid. Congrats to Claire Pitcher for finishing 99th and Quinn Sullivan for finishing 129th at State. Our boys volleyball just finished completing their second appearance at State in two years. Anton has the details. Franklin boys volleyball had a record-breaking season this year, making it to the State Tournament for the second year in a row. At the last home game, the stands were completely full and energetic. After they won this game, they qualified for State. The season went great. At the beginning of the season, I didn't really think that we were going to go far at all. Uh, we came back stronger, and we came together as a family, and we were able to win conference and uh, go to state again, and it was very, very cool. We took three buses full of fans up to Green Bay to show support. Although they played a hard-fought game, the Sabres fell short to Germantown in three sets. They are proud of how much they have accomplished this season. Congrats to the boys' volleyball team on an excellent season. Here in the Sabres, we're given incredible opportunities to learn and be part of the film industry. It's not every day that LA filmmakers make their way into a Wisconsin classroom. Tyler Mason and Patrick Waldrop gave a presentation to film and pop culture students through the Real Talks program presented by the Milwaukee Film Festival. Students were able to ask questions about the creation, rise, and cultural influence of music television. I want my MTV! Made international stars almost overnight. They explained the process of making the film and the challenges of the film industry. And, and the kind of the gamble, the business gamble and the personal creative gamble in and seeing that through. You know, whatever vision you have in your head, 
putting up on the screen and seeing if people do react and connect to it the way you imagine they will, it's, it's very motivating. But when you can say, I started something, we worked really hard to make it happen, and we finished it, and now people like it, that's a feeling that you can't get in other places. It's amazing. It really is. A huge thank you to Mr. Meesom and Mr. Waldrop for coming in and giving us an inside look at the film industry. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, at the Saber Roar, to stay up to date with all things Saber Roar. Thanks for watching, Sabers. We'll see you next time.